Let's go, my sisters and brothers. I got you in the name of our Lord Christ Jesus, the Son of the Living God. I'm back in the program today. We're going to talk about the schedule. Why I came with the schedule? So, um, when I was growing up, I did not know how to make a schedule myself because we are raised where I was raised, so they did not tell us about the schedule. No. I could wake up and then they told me, you go and do this. Um, You know, you have to go to school. Yeah, you go, brush your teeth, do this, go to school, you know. That's what they used to tell us every day. <laughs> when you're younger, you know you're young. When you grow up, you're going, you're grown up. So they used to do a lot of things for Christ. We, um, because we were young. But when I gave my life to Christ, when I came here in America, I started to learn one by one what the schedule means. So, um, and then I'll find the people, i find some of the people told us, um, now friends here in America, and then we are talking about the schedule, what they have, and what I learned, what is the schedule, like, I know now they have, they know most of the people knows where I was born, so right now, I have to tell you this, my sisters and brothers, I know what it means, so you wake up, you do a lot of things, you plan ahead what you're going to do, you know what is going on, you know what is going to happen, you know, if you're not a Christian, let me tell you this, yes, you plan everything, sometimes you don't even write them down, but you plan them and you, you just say, I know I'm going to do this and this and this and this, some people write them down, you know, not to forget. I, I, I have that habit of writing down so that I should not forget about it. But there's sometimes when I could not, I, I, <laughs> I was not writing, but I, my habit is to write them down and to make sure that I don't forget about what I have to do a day. Why? Because ah, there was a time when I could mention, I'm going to do this and this and this and this. And then I end up forgetting, you know, I end up forgetting. So, um... When I started to do that, I couldn't forget. Then we plan things every day. But we have to make sure, if you're a Christian, that you have to plan things in God. You have to put Christ first. You plan it in God. Because if you're not a Christian, you're just going to say it or you're going to just go to God ahead and do it. But if you are a Christian, you plan it in God, and then after that, you give it to Him. For me, what I do, when I have it, <laughs> I do it like that, and then I give it to Him. Then, because I know He's going to take care of it, is the only His will is going to work. Only. If I do like 10 things, mine can be like 3 mine as me and mine or oh, five then the five is for god and i have to take care of his first before i take care of mine so i'm telling you this my sisters and brothers we have to put god first in each and everything we do in each and everything we do we have to put him first because he knows all the plans he has his words say the plans he has is for us jeremiah 29 11 to take us forward not backward is plans is plans you wake up and then get us you get a menu and you you get you go for breakfast you know sometimes you say oh i'm going to go i am aha i'm going to go sleep this time everybody do that i'm going to do this time i'm going to do this time i'm going to do this time but i have to tell you this my sisters and brothers we Christians, yes, we make a schedule, but we don't know what's going to happen for tomorrow. I'm not telling nobody to stop because it's beautiful, it's good. But you have to allow God to tell you what to do. You get a pain, write them down, ask him what to write down. If you don't want to, inter <laughs> to disturb, sometimes you can say, oh, I was supposed to do this now, what is this? But if you allow him to lure your life, you know, it's going to help you. It's going to be there for you. It's going to direct you. It's going to do beyond that what we've never seen or had before in our lives. Why? Because you have allowed him to be in your life to do a schedule for you. Because I myself, when I have to do something, I have to allow him to do it on his will. I know I have to uh, come in the program.
Yes, I come and do it. I come and do it because this is an everyday thing. It's not like once. If I don't do it, he told me. If I wake up one day like this and I don't do it, then something is not up, but it's happening is on my own. That's why if we sp if he speaks something, I have to make sure I have to do what I have to do. It's him. So I have to tell you this, my sisters and brothers. Our Lord is God. He loves us. But our uh, he wants to rule our lives every day. He sits in us. He helps us every day. Christ is real. Like the way I told you. Read the word. Do what you're supposed to do. Because it's real and it's good. And it's always there for us. I love you, my sisters and brothers. God bless you. See you next time. Bye.